You know, the Lord won't let me go forward. So we have to stay right there. So if anybody's visiting, you're going, aren't we supposed to be singing a song here? We're waiting. This is the Selah. Oh, the Lord wants to go deeper. He said, don't rush me. Don't rush me. Oh, just wait. We're waiting on Papa. Oh, saturate us, Lord. Marinate us in your love. supposed to look like. Yeah, Carl, you've got something on that right there. <laughs> 
So I'm asking the Lord, so letting go, let go, let go. I think we're supposed to move into caught up. But I think the let go is so many of us. We have a mindset of what, first of all, who God is. And secondly, who we are. And thirdly, what church is supposed to look like or what worship is supposed to look like. And the Lord is just going, Can, I want you, my church, my children, my beloved, to let all that go. Because yeah, yeah. it's a new day. And what was doesn't fit anymore. Sometimes, y'all, we, we'll launch into some songs and it feels like old wineskin. And it feels like it doesn't fit anymore. It's an old stream. It's a tributary that doesn't flow into the mainstream anymore. Whew. It doesn't have the wind of the Spirit. That's why when we affectionately call the first rehearsal the first church service, the sir service, it's because we don't wait to start worshiping for this service. We start at the very first second. We get here. Ha. Huh. And the Lord is just wanting to free us. Who doesn't want to be free? Amen. He wants to free us of the stuff that kept him small in our hearts and in our minds. So Lord, we just take let you take this stuff. We let it go. Yeah. Rewire. Refire. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Let him go. Of all the things that bind me, I put it all behind me. I rise with you. In heaven, I'm exploring the wonders of your glory.